Okay, so we're recording here. Um, so for this video, I'm going to be going over Voxcar, this small, lightweight piece of software I created to assist in boxing multiple characters in the game of EverQuest. And this doesn't involve hijacking the game's process, reading data from the game, writing data from the game doesn't do any of that. It just is a lightweight tool to assist in alt tabbing and, and key presses. And it really works with the in-game macro system and how you set up your characters. So um, for this example, we got Mercy here. She's the cleric, Stabby over here, the, um, the rogue. And then we got Meat, he's the warrior. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch Boxcar. So let me see here really quick where I put this version of it in this demo. Open this up. Okay. And you know, um, okay, let's, let's start from the very beginning. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff. Um, so you can see here's the software as you launch it. Um, <clears throat> So to get started, we'll, we'll basically just be creating our three characters. Um, so we go down to characters. Um, we'll see we have no characters here. We'll go to create character. We'll create, um, call this guy meat. Call him meat, uh, meats, just cause uh, I already have a meat saved. So we'll call him meats. Um, and then we'll have mercy. And then last we'll have Stabby. And so this stuff's all saved, so every time you start up, you'll have them. Um, and so you'll see now I have these buttons down here. You um, By default, you get you know eight buttons. Um, you can manage the order of the, your characters. So here, you know, I'm going to put Meat at top, Mercy second, and Stabby in the bottom. Um, you can enable and disable them. So if you disable them, they'll go off the list. You can keep them here so all your settings will be remembered. So you could, you know, have multiple characters, swap them in and out. Um, but we'll start by just, you know, having our three, everyone enabled. Um, now, when we created the characters, you could give them a username and password. I didn't. You don't have to. That just allows you to go to this game clients and click launch, and it will launch the game clients, log into the account for you, and at the bare minimum, get you to like you know the server select screen. It doesn't know how to pick your characters. It will just go from you know just press the enter key, so it'll go to your last server, press enter, and then your last character, press enter, and it will load up all your. Um, all your characters um, and you can kind of customize some of these delays for how long depending on your um, network condition and you know computer and stuff um, you can also adjust your uh, the path to your EQ directory right here if you don't have it installed in the default location um, so but if you don't want to do that you can just click this button that says sync this will detect all the different um, instances of EverQuest that are running. And so I can click on this one and I can see, okay, this is Stabby. So I can drop down, click Stabby and I can go to here. This is Meets, So we will set it to Meets, and this is Mercy. So we will set this to Mercy. Okay. And now we have our game, our characters set up and our game client set up. So I'm going to hide those menus. Um, now we have uh, the, the crux of what it all is. So this is basically the system. You can usually set it right here in the middle and I can click on meets and I will be on meets now. I can click savvy, I can be on savvy. And you can see here the actual overlay always stays the same. So it, it's always persistent over and you know I can just go click something. So I can always click this and I can always click my current game. Um, and I can use, you know, key binds if I wanted to, you know, if I were to, you know, 
click mercy here and then click meets and I wanted to press nine to sit I'll I'll sit um, now we can go into the settings so so there's an inherent delay between every action that happens and it's 150 milliseconds I find that that's the best one you can you know depending on your machine's performance you might have to uh, tune that up um, but essentially that makes it so that there's from switching the character so alt tabbing to it and then hitting a keystroke there needs to be some sort of some amount of delay and so that's just built, built into every action um, now we can go customize um, like let's for instance let's customize um, mercy uh, mercy's action bar and we're going to create um, a macro to heal the main tank, right? So let's go down here and let's just create something. So we in in the settings menu, each character will get their own um, their own menu. You can also add extra button rows down here if you want to. So if you wanted to have more actions than you do characters, because there's only eight action buttons per row, uh, you can create them here. Uh, let's remove those for right now. Um, we're going to go for Mercy, and in here you'll have the button action, which we'll go over later. First, we're going to talk about styling button. Um, so button one, you can see here in the current title is one. We're going to change it to heal tank. And, you know, I don't like that color, so up here you're going to go to the main color picker. You're going to set the color to be, you know, say for instance, you want it to be some sort of healing blue like this. And you set it, you can set the background color. And then, you know, you, um, and say for instance, for right now, we don't need, um, you know, these buttons. We could do something. Maybe we're also going to have a, an auto attack. And auto attack will make, oh, you got to press enter. And for auto attack, we're going to make the color be some sort of orange. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, and you know that text doesn't read as good, so maybe I'm going to switch the text color to black by setting the text color here. And um, lastly, we're going to have um, follow tank be another command. And we'll just let that be the default. And then let's just disable all these other buttons. So now we just have the three buttons. Um, and that, that looks great. Uh, let's maybe set up Stabby next. Uh, Stabby is probably going to have... Um, and maybe this is a... You know, maybe this is like assist tank, you know, instead. Um, and then for Savvy, we'll come down here, close up Mercy's menu. And um, for this one, you know, we'll probably have um, assist tank. And here we'll probably have back stab, you know, like something like that. Um, and uh, lastly, we'll have follow tank. Um, and then, so that looks great. Um, and then we'll set up some colors for this guy. Uh, I think he is more of like a similar like orange for the assist tank and maybe we'll just go make mercies the same so that they're matching um so we did that and then you know set this background color to black set the text to black okay so it looks great um and you know the backstab we could have it be you know some sort of red. And that looks good. 
and then we can disable all these other buttons for him. Um, and then, you know, maybe we will add an extra button row down here and we'll create um, one that says all follow pink. Okay, and then that's it. And, you know, we'll disable all these other ones. So now we're kind of creating a little bit of a, a grid of buttons that we're going to use. And so, um, and for me, it's like, well, well, you know, for me, it's, we may not even need any buttons right now. Like, um, might want to make one that, you know, just, I don't know. We're probably going to be driving with meat, so we may not need any of these buttons. You know, in certain situations, you might want to put one there, or you could even put the all follow tank button as his number one. And, like, let's do that for right now. Like, we'll make that, um, we'll go to meats, we'll go to button style, we'll say all follow tank. And, you know, we'll just disable the rest of these. So now we're basically where we want to be. We're going to have this set up to help us box. Now we just need to kind of make them all work. So I'm going to make it so everyone's um, auto target has um, X target five be the group tank. So first thing I go to everyone and we'll set the group tank is number five. And then we'll also set the group tank's target to number one. And we'll do that for, you know, for Mercy and Stabby, since they're going to be assisting the tank. Um, and then, you know, so now we're going to create a follow button for everybody. Um, just call it follow tank. And this is slash X target five slash follow. And then say, so we'll do something like that. And we'll put that as button zero. And we'll do the same thing for Mercy. And for Savvy. So we're just going to call it follow tank slash x tar 5 slash follow Okay, and so you see how we kind of create those. Now I use the X target command because you don't have to use pauses with it. Like unlike assist and other things, you might need to use pauses, and it just makes everything so much faster and fluid using X target if you can, um, if it's supported on your. You know, this is an emulator server, but you know you could do this on live. All this works on live as well. So here we go, we got, um, so we're going to do uh, X tar 5, and then, you know, slash follow, and then tell the group, you know, what we're doing. Okay. Now, so now let's kind of look at these settings again. So that means here on, on Mercy, we have, now we can go into button actions. So if I say um, I want to do character, uh, and this is for her button two, three, character dot, dot mercy, and then I want to key. And then you want to press 
um, zero and then you want to switch back to the character that was active most likely so we'll just go back to active and then we'll press enter so here you use the character dot syntax to go to a specific screen key dot the keystroke that you want to use and then character dot active goes back to the one that was green the character that had the green icon whenever the key was pressed um, now you can also use like alt key which will do an alt keystroke or control keystroke or shift keystroke you can also introduce like other delays if you want to I, I don't know why you would but you know if you were doing some sort of complicated chained one where you want to pause for a second before pressing the keystroke for instance to like time like two casts so that you know you can get double invis or something like that um, so we have that one uh, we also you know we'll move on to the um, we'll do one for stabby as well uh, and I think for Stabby we had that to, to um, let's make that minimize that. Um, Stabby's follow was also command three, so character dot Stabby, and then we're key dot zero, and then character dot active. Okay, so now those two buttons are set up. Now we can look at um, Meets. So Meets has one that's a little more complicated. Um, we're going to look at his. And so he has one button. And so it's going to be character. So first it's going to be character. Let's just do Meets to be first. And we'll do um, key dot zero. And then We'll do character dot um, mercy and then do a key dot zero and then we'll do character dot stabby and then do a key dot zero and then we'll do character dot active. So we're basically going to go to meets first, press key zero, go to mercy second, press key zero, go to stabby third, press key zero, and then switch back to whoever called it. Um, and that one's basically done. Um, and then now we'll set up the, we can test this really quick. So let's try that first. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a group. So I'll have, um, I'll have meets be the leader here. And I'm just going to manually do this. Like you could even create macros to start your groups and join groups and stuff. But we're going to just try to go in with this one first. So for instance, if I go to meets here and I say I'll follow. So let's see, Mercy didn't follow me. Let's see what happened there. Let's go check her macro. This is an emulated server, so I don't know if like X target's not working because it doesn't look like it is. Uh, X target five. Yeah, I don't know. I guess X target commands don't work on this server. So, simply enough, we'll just call this slash target meet. Because, you know, I didn't really want to demo this on live just in case they try to like ban my accounts or something. Which is fine. Meets doesn't even really need this anymore, but. But just to demonstrate, we'll try it again. So here we are. And now they should all be following me. Let's make sure. Yeah, see? 
So essentially you can kind of see like that's sort of the speed you get. You get and everyone formed a keystroke. So now it's not even worry about this X target thing because clearly it's not working. So we're going to do it without that stuff. Um, so let's set up um, the heal one. So for Mercy, we're going to have this be, you know, heal tank and it's going to be, you know, slash target meet. Now the benefit of doing this on like live or like ex extended target works is that you can use the extended target so that you can switch up your gameplay. Like you could have someone else be the tank and your characters will just work the way you expected them to. Like they'll follow the tank, they'll, you know, you could heal the tank, you could do all those things while playing your DPS or something. Um, so we'll target me and then, um, you know, we'll probably have to put a pause in here. So let's pause 10. And then cast, um, let's see what, what spells we have here. We have one. Okay, so we cast one. And then say, you know, maybe here we'll say healing. And something like that. Okay, so now we have heal tank. And we'll just toss that in two. And so now we can go back and say, okay, we have button actions in button slot one it's you know character dot mercy dot key dot two and then character dot active and then we can just press enter and it'll save that and then we can kind of look okay now we have to create like two assist ones let's just try that real quick um, we're going to create a macro here in the game. The macro is going to be called assist tank. And we'll make it like a cool orange. And we'll call it, um, so it's like slash assist meet slash pause. Or I don't even need to do that. I can just say G. We have assist meet going down in spot three. And we'll go back to the button actions here and say character. There no mercy. And then key dot three. And then character dot active. And that's it. This character is pretty, pretty much set up. Now Stabby, we're going to do the same thing for him because he needs to be able to assist. So we'll just switch to Stabby really quick. And then, you know, this is, you know, slash assist meet. And you can see assisting. And we'll just pop this guy down here, number two. And then, do I even have X that yet? No, I don't think so. Unless I do, I don't see it. I, I might have to train that or I have to get over level one. I don't really know, but it doesn't matter. Um, so we got our different assist keys now. We'll set up his um, key one here to be, you know, character dot stabby and then key and it's key two and then character dot active okay so now we have all that set up we can kind of come up here and let's test it before we hide the menu once you hide those menus you have to restart the software which is you know a little bit annoying um, let's see if everyone's following me still. Okay, everyone's still following me. I think, like, um, my background frames are probably, like, real messed up on here. Um, 
I have to probably adjust that. Um, or file is just messed up. I don't know. <laughs> this this uh, emulated server is, uh, you know, maybe not the best. Um, so let's see where everyone's at. Okay, let's go back over here. Everyone follow me. Okay, so we're gonna run these guys over here. And we will see what we got. We got a little cave rat down here. I'm gonna attack it. And I'm just gonna position my guys right here and then I'm gonna say assist. And I'm gonna say assist. Huh. I guess let's try this again. Let's look at these and let's switch this to attack on. Accept. Okay, and I might it might be set up on this server to where you don't automatically attack on, so Except. Okay, let's check this out. Oh did I die? Holy shit. <laughs> That's never good. Okay, here we go. Um, I'll just click all follow really quick. Make sure all my guys are on me. And then we're going to try this one more time. And we're going to assist. And we're going to assist. Now everyone's attacking, as I expected. And then I'm going to need to heal myself. So, we got a heal coming. So, it's working pretty well. Um, you know, it's all about, like, getting your macros set up right um, and then you'll see like I can get these going and you know the, the, what I like to do is that like, you just gotta position your people correctly and you know everyone starts attacking you need to heal Maybe one more. And then you can come down here and check out this cave rat. And, you know, obviously at this level, there's not much your characters can do as far as like their skills, but it's certainly um, easier than alt tabbing. It's you know, doesn't really, as far as I know, violate Daybreak's um, user license agreements. Um, you know, we don't read data or write data to the game. It just simply facilitates in alt-tabbing your characters, keeping track of that, and, you know, pressing a keystroke, which is pretty cool. I really like it. Um, you know, if you decide to use it, that's cool. If you don't, you know, hey, do you. Alright, well nice chatting, have a good one.